Hi there, my name's Mr. Vieira, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to count and clap semiquaver and quaver groupings. So if you're looking at the screen and going, gee, I've got no idea what any of that means, or I can kind of understand a little bit of it, that's perfectly okay. By the end of this video, you're going to be able to work out exactly what everything means and be able to clap and tap along with it. So let's begin. The first thing that you need to understand is how to organize beats. And to illustrate this, we're going to be using apples. So let's pretend that every apple is representative of a beat or one count. And this is how it works. We use, we, musicians like to organize their music into nice, simple grouping. So we tend to organize things into twos or threes or fours. In this example, we have a time signature, which is the two with the four underneath it. And that time signature tells a musician, hey, I'm organizing music into groups of two or two apples. At the end of every group of two, we use a single straight bar line to separate the groups of two. And at the end of the piece of music, we use a double bar line to show that this is the end of the music. So if we were gonna count these apples, we'd go one, two, one, two, and that would be the end of it because of the double bar line. Similarly, we have a three, four time signature, which simply means that we're going to have three apples. So in this example, we would have one, two, three, one, two, three. And the most common, perhaps by far, especially like in our modern pop music that we tend to listen to a fair bit of, we tend to have groups of four. So in this example, we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So in this video series, I'm going to be referring mainly to four over four or a four, four time signature, which implies that you're going to have groups of four apples grouped together, but be aware that you can have twos or threes or fours or fives or six or sevens or almost any other type of grouping. But we tend to group them into nice neat um, groups of twos, threes and fours.